What's good, ladies and gentlemen of the SFJ Nation? I didn't mean to startle you. I didn't mean to start it. Did I startle you? Did I frighten you? Huh? Check your pants. Check it. You, you good? All right, cool. It's your boy SFJ, screw face, John. Fizza, fizza. Ah! Mr. Punchline himself, man. First of all, shout out to everybody who's been showing that YouTube Cypher Volume 2 love. Shout out to my little brother Crip, you know what I mean? Shout out to everybody who's on there. Shout out to all the reactors who uh reacting to that John. I got a whole bunch of people like, yo, screw when your when your next stuff coming up, screw, because you've been waiting a long time to drop. Don't even trip. Stop tripping on me. Saturday, I will be dropping uppercut featuring Trey Stucky. So go tell all your favorite reactors, huh? Go tell all your favorite YouTubers, yo, hit up Screw. I think he's giving the early copy out. Oh, there we go. My bad. I just started recording on that. Um, Like, hit up Screw. He giving the early copy out type stuff, right? Yeah. Hit me up. So, I had a minute, around a minute and 13. Is what I started. Okay, so. Strictly for the fans tour. Lincoln, Nebraska, August 8th. Portland, Oregon, August 16th. Go to sfjnation.eventbrite, which is E-V-E-N-T-B-R-I-T-E dot com. Get you a ticket and see what city we come into. Everybody keep asking, what city you come into? Go to sfjnation. I keep posting it. Y'all just don't keep seeing it because you don't follow me on Instagram. Why you, you don't follow me on Instagram and Twitter and you over here asking me? huh? What happens when, when I tell you to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and don't even blink? Exactly, bro. Exactly. Stop playing with me. So, we back on this MGK trail, man. Mr. Colson Baker himself, man. Mr. Machine Gun Kells. I've been, I've been really liking how Machine Gun Kelly's been moving as of late. You know what I mean? Hotel Diablo. I like how he dropped that. I, I like 13th Floor. I like all this stuff. People say, oh, he taking shots. At him. Whatever. I like that. Whatever. Here's the thing. Now, I've been, we've been watching MGK close. Every time he pop out, do something, I talk about it, right? A while ago, I said, yo, Kels, man, you got to leave this M stuff alone simply because you are forever going to be the Eminem guy. You're not going to have a moment bigger than this if you continue to feed this seed. Keep watering this seed. Huh? But then, and I and I started being like, yo, every time you mention it, it's not a good move. You moving funny. It's not a good move. You know what I mean? I understand that you want to because in your heart, you want to make that right. You want to, you know what I mean? You want to argue it. But what I'm saying is, Dougie, you got to move on. Then I started realizing even when he when he talked about uh, Eminem on 13th floor, and then I think Genius picked it up and he got mad. That's when I was like, oh, okay, so he don't know what he want. He don't know what he want. He want to have his cake and eat it too. Then it started realizing me, uh, making me realize. Hold on. My bad, I got some text off. Started making me realize that I think it's already too late for Kells. I think he is the M uh, the the Eminem dissed me guy. I don't think, I thought like maybe there's still time where you could change it, but it seems as if no matter where he goes, this is what they want to talk about. Cool. Now, the reason I'm reacting to this, MGK went up to Everyday Struggle, and he said some interesting things about him and Eminem's little tiff. So we're going to go ahead and uh, play that. We're going to go ahead and two little minutes we gonna do a lot of pause and a lot of breaking down and see where kelly's head is at man but he said go oops but he said go you know the internet thing's trying to muddy it like that was a little this is him talking about him and eminem's beef annoying because it was kind of like we can't be a generation that rides like he wants to say d that's what he wants to say. He wants to say D. He wants to say. <laughs> he wants to say D so bad. Rides. Watch how he. Watch how he saved it. Watch how he saved it. Watch. 
He wanted to say rides. Do rides like only because a person. He said only because. You knew what you wanted to say. Why you ain't say it? You knew what you wanted to say, huh? Why you ain't say it? This guy. Oh, my bad. Let me roll that back just to hear what he actually said. That was just funny. Like, we can't be a generation that rides like only because a person's a legend, <laughs> you know, and strictly goes off that factor. Like when we do something. Hold on. Let me stop you right there, Colson. Gotta talk to you, my G. You know I rock with you, right? You know I rock with your new stuff. Um, I'm liking that, especially that song you got with Young Blood and was it Homie from uh, and Travis Barker? Oh, the chorus of that. He took me right back to college rock. Took me right back to a uh, 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 blink. Took me right back to a uh, 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 what, what? Not Counting Crows. Um, Marcy's Playground. Ah, oh, took me right back to the '90s. I was going. I felt like I was going to switch, uh, switch over to Celebrity Deathmatch after that. Loved it. It's one thing I'm going to tell you right now. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to repaint the narrative, right? And I know you got time to think about this and poke this at every angle and every which way that you want to flip it. But let me just go ahead and tell you something, man. You said that we shouldn't ride with somebody just because they're a legend. I agree with that. I 100% agree with that. I kind of wish I was up here with you to help you through this because there is an argument to be made with the way that the stands attacked you, right? That could be very unfair, but you didn't make that point well because you, you instead of talk, talked about the specific people who did it, you kind of encompassed it to everybody Say said, we can't uh, 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 ride somebody because they're a legend. Let me go ahead and tell you. Ye that's not why... I could only speak for myself. That's not why I was writing for him. It's not because he's a legend. It may be people who's new to this channel and, you know, I do Eminem content, so they think I just love everything Eminem does. And I'm one of the, trust me, I'm not one of these reactors who reacts for people's fan bases. I react for my fans. And y'all should know that, right? Um, I didn't like Eminem's opening line on Rainy Days. I, I cooked that. Stands came and attacked me. I didn't care because some of the people are mad unloyal. If you sit there and be like, oh, Eminem's great, Eminem's great, they're going to they just like everything you do. But if you, I, I hate Eminem singing. I think Eminem can't sing. I think Eminem's singing sounds like broken nails on a chalkboard in, 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 in the desert. Just make it extra dry. Singing is, 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 is skin cringingly bad to me. With that being said, he got you. And it's not because he was a legend, fam. He dissed you better. When it came to a diss track, he dissed you better. He only needed one shot. Will I say that Kill Shot was a perfect diss track, one of the greatest diss tracks of all time? Absolutely not. Positively not. Nowhere in the same galaxy as no Vaseline's, the hit em ups, the checkmates, nowhere near, even back down. No one even as good as back down, right? Well, yeah, it was. Here's what I'm just gonna tell you right now, Kels. You, and this is something I feel like a lot of people need to start understanding. A battle is a battle. A song is a song. Kels, you made a song. You made a better song than Eminem. But that matters nothing in a battle. You thought that this generation was going to be the vibey guys. The guys would be like, okay, well, if the beat's hot and, and the chorus is cool, then we going to say you won. No, that just didn't happen for you. You was in a battle. Imagine you watching Smack. You, you watching Smack. Some of y'all don't even know what Smack is. You watching URLTV.TV.com. You watching that, right? And then you in the middle of a... You in the middle of gun titles versus hollow and they clicking the blick, sticking the blick, getting hit with the clip, doing all that, right? And then the second round, they auto-tune in a hook. Like they singing a hook, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna lose. Even if the bop is better, y'all be missing the whole target of what you're doing. He looked at his target and said, oh, we dissing each other? Well, bang, take these disses. And that's what happened. You made a better song. Let's not try to flip the narrative as if you lost that or as if Eminem had a better track because he was a legend and we didn't hear what he said. No, bro. Man Bun Kelly, you don't got the Man Bun no more. Um, um, I'm trying to just think off the top of my head. The Diddy line, it wasn't even to you. That was crazy. Controversy. Didn't care. The, uh, uh, uh. Uh, I wrote your name on a star. Ah, come on. Now, I wrote your name on a star. Okay, okay. What a. Let's talk about what weird beard is not comparing to this stuff. And later on, you kind of even agree, huh? Or Corday do. But let, here we go. Generation like Corday, the voice of reason. What happened? Hold it down like that. That was not something I was expecting to ever happen. You know what I mean? And like. And here's another thing, too. He said, that is something I never expected to happen. I'm seeing MGK's regret of this moment manifesting itself more. When this first happened, he acted like he was the happiest pig in the slop, didn't he? Just giddy, popping bottles, all this, because he thought it was going to go one way. He thought all exposure was good exposure. I think at this point now, when he's dealt with the insanity of the stands, he's like, ah, oh, no, nah, I can't do this. This wasn't even worth it. I said what I said. I don't give a fuck. You can't hold me. You know, and that, and that should be the narrative for anyone in our generation. Like I respect that. A hundred percent. I agree with him, and I respect that. A hundred percent. There's nothing wrong with what he said there. Right? What he... Man, that's what I'm saying. He had kind of like a point, but my, my mans didn't want to... You know what I mean? Didn't want to go... Didn't want to make the best point that he had to make. Like, that should have been your whole angle. It shouldn't be like... Oh, I, I lost because he was a legend. Or people say he won because he's a legend. That's it. You, your whole angle should be, regardless if I won or lost, I was the one who stood up. He talked about a lot of people who got scared and tucked their tails and moonwalked up out situations. I jumped in there and jumped in the belly of the beast, man. You can't hold me. I, I respect that. That is, I respect that from MGK and I'm gonna tell you right now I say this every time I talk about Kells because I've performed with Kells a lot and I knew Kells not knew him but I performed with him before well, I kind of didn't know him before he blew up blew up blew up right so one thing I will tell y'all that I say every MGK video that boy ain't no trick he ain't sweet he ain't sweet he is not sweet. He lives what he talks about. That's 100% facts. That is 100% facts. Don't never think he a studio gangster. Don't never think that because he a, 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 a white boy who looks like a model that he ain't crazy. Like, trust me. Trust me. That's why I kept telling people, like, bro, if it comes down to some physical stuff, I had some people jumping in. And, and I appreciate the stands for just, like, <laughs> doing whatever they can for him. But when people were like... Yo, if it goes to something physical, MGK ain't gonna want that. I was like, oh my God, y'all just, y'all gonna get Eminem hurt, bro. Eminem is like 50 years old. Way past his physical prime. He's past his lyrical prime. Way past his physical prime. Let's just throw music out of there, throw fandom out of there. MGK is scrapping and young. And very upset at the world. Obviously. If Eminem and MGK got to a one-on-one -on -one fist way, I'm putting my money that MGK would wash Eminem. Would wash him. But that's not what we're talking about. In a battle, MG, Eminem washing him. There we go. Just how us because you're a legend. I like that. You can't. Like, that, was, that was weird. Mm -hmm. It was out of nowhere. It was weird. It was ill-timed. Max death had just happened. You know what I mean? It Hold was, on. What do you... I hate... I, I, you built good... I had hated that bar. That little thing, first of all, the, first of all, run this back. Hold on. That was weird. It was out of nowhere. It was, it was out of nowhere. Your diss was first. Are you saying your, your diss was out of nowhere? Because you made Rap Devil first. It's clearly not out of nowhere. You knew where it was coming from. Kill Shot came from Rap Devil. What? What? 
Here's where I feel like he started reaching. Like, he ran out of material things to say, and he kind of started freestyling, because... Weird. It was ill times. Max death had just happened. What does that... he? What does that have to do with the battle, bro? What does that have to do with you... making a diss about Eminem? Oh, I get it. No, because... I okay, because Rap Devil didn't come first. The shot on okay, I see what he's saying. Slaps. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I know. I was just thinking of Rap Devil Kill Shot. I forgot this I actually started on M's album. So he's saying that the shot from the album came out of nowhere. Um and it was ill time. Mac had just passed. Okay, so I'll give you that one. Maybe you felt like it came out of nowhere. Uh it really didn't. But him addressing it probably came out of nowhere. But why bring up what what does Max passing have to do with this? You just wasn't in the right zone. Is that like what, what was that? F I don't I don't get that. That's a really weird thing to bring up. Rest in peace, Mac Miller, man. You know what I mean? It was it was weird. Like I don't I, yeah. In, in those moments. Yeah, he didn't know what to say at the end of that. Let's go to the next clip. Weird, like I, the, you know. This like, is the this is my this is my favorite clip right here. This is the best part. I think. We went in the locker room of a place that we were performing. This is him explaining him popping that bottle. On the spot, hours after that shit released. Hours? Hours, dude. I was with Odell the night before celebrating his, what, that $100 million contract thing. So The name drops are so, so delicious. He out here dropping them. Oh, 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 shit. What was that? Man, I just dropped, I just dropped the name, my bad. That was just a name. That was just a name. My boy said, you know, Odell, $100 million. Oh, yeah, we was turned. And then what does that have to do? <laughs> like, still just drunk. Like, still, like... So, are, are you were still drunk. So, are you saying that all this was just uh, the drunken rants of Machine Gun Kelly? Oh, this man. motherfucker, man. Load, load the Pro Tools up. And we... Yeah, we Pay attention. Hold on. Pay attention to this part closely. Pay attention to this part closely. So he said they were super faded, and they pulled up the Pro Tools, and they pulled up a picture of Eminem. Pay attention. And they started rolling, riding on M, okay? And I did three verses, and I remember I had like... Three verses. When I remember I called, I called Corday. YBN Corday, the young future, the lyricist, the... the the, the dude who I call the future, Mr. Righteous and Ratchet himself, one of the students of the Righteous and Ratchet class uh, art of, 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 of hip hop. I'm, 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 one of, I'm a student too. I'm a student too. You know what I mean? Based on I played them three verses, the three, first three verses, he was like, bro, like this M, man, you gotta go off. Like, I'm like, I just went off. Like, three, what are you talking about? He's like, man, you gotta, like, just finish them. You know what I'm saying? So I remember I put that fourth verse, and that fourth verse was. That fourth verse was the mean shit. Hold up. So, we heard that story through his perspective. But it's kind of a sugar-coated way, if you think about it, of breaking it down. Think of it like this. So, you're telling me you did three verses, three entire verses, a song. So, essentially, you did a song. You call Corday the lyricist, the dude who who knows all about punches bars more than you, right? He he he's he leans more into that than you do, right? And Corday literally tells you that's not good enough. Yeah, you said it like, oh, you just need to kill him. That's the nice way of saying it. If you read between the lions, reading between the lions. If you watch that show, put it in the comment section, by the way, because I couldn't have been the only one. Anyway, if you're reading between the lions right now. What Corday was telling you was, after listening to it, that's not it, Chief. You need to go again. So you're telling me that Corday, who's younger than you, younger than me, said, you're older than me, younger, and he says, that's not it, Chief. You're going to need to do it again, and then you're going to double back. Uh, doesn't that kind of go into your point about people saying that, Oh, you can't just let him win because he's a legend. I don't think we let him win because he's a legend. I think that just wasn't it, Chief. I think Corday was right. If you listen to what you say, Corday was telling you, listen, if you do a diss track on somebody, listen, if I put 
three verses together and I'm over here putting, mm, and I call this the diss track, and I let Munfu hear it, and Munfu go, yeah, nigga, that's hot, but, man, you got to finish, dude. What he's saying is, that ain't it, Chief. That's what he saying. He's saying, nah, you could do better. So, and then you're going to just say the fourth one was, oh, that's where all the mean stuff was in. Did Corday, did you call Corday and ask him? Because it seemed like that's where Corday's uh, uh, influence stopped. I think maybe you should have asked him. I'm just saying Rap Devil just wasn't it, bro. It just wasn't it. As far as this track, as far as song, Rap Devil's the best song on, on Binge. I'm going to keep it a buck. Back to like to the album and shit. Like. And that's it. Hey, Kels, you know I gotta talk about it whenever you come out here. We we watching your mental health. We watching your whole movement since Kill Shot. Huh? I'm still riding with you. And now I definitely hundred percent it's not your fault. This Eminem stuff, the way that people keep talking about it's not your fault. They're gonna keep talking about it. It is too late. You are the guy that Eminem diss now, and I and I, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that, but hey man, do what you gotta do. Shout out to everybody who watched this. Like, comment, subscribe. We are on the road to a hundred and fifty thousand subs, man. I already got my hundred thousand plaque. We trying to get that milli, man. We trying to get that gold play button. So subscribe, smash that subscribe button. Matter of fact, on the count of three, one. De toi. Ah! You hit it? You hit it? You hit it? All right, well, welcome to the family. Welcome to the SJ Nation. We out of here. Strictly for the fans tour. SJNation.eventbrite.com. Eventbrite is spelled E V E N T B R I T E. Go get you a ticket. Saturday, new music. Screw face Saturdays is coming back. Yeah. Uh-huh. If you want to open up in any of the cities, I think we pretty much full, but just hit me up on my email, S-C-R-U-F-A-C-E-J-E-A-N. Make sure you join the SFJ Nation Discord because it gets lit in there. I'll be dropping leaks in there. I'll be talking about stuff before it happened in there. I'll be asking for advice about stuff. So half the you know I mean? Join that. Send me an email at S-C-R-U-F-A-C-E-J-E-A-N at gmail.com. We out of here. Love you. Understand you probably did this for closure, but listen closer. You'll notice all it did was expose you. So you be giving whack verses, taking s on the culture while charging the leg in the shoulder. Man, this kid is a vulture. In case y'all didn't believe me or y'all didn't know. Man himself, man. I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, though. It's like, I ain't. Midwest in the building. Big way, huh? We backstage a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I just have to holler at my boy Jane Jacket real quick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let him know feelings mutual, you know what I'm saying? Holler hey, back. man, man. Hey, man, this is the guy right here, man. Praise <laughs> this guy right here. Look who's talking, look who's talking. You know what I'm saying? Pull out that chopper, pull out yeah. that chopper. <laughs>